we don't have that. So we're just gonna create the web service. Let's let that run. Oh, I wasn't recording my screen the whole time. Amazing, amazing. Okay, welcome. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to deploy um, a fast API server onto Render. Uh, here's Render. This Render is basically a, a place where you can deploy web services and static sites and whatnot, uh, and APIs as well. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And we don't have that, so we're just going to create the web service. Let's let that run. Oh, I wasn't recording my screen the whole time. Amazing, amazing. All right, let's restart everything. Oh, okay, yeah, well, you know what we're doing. I already explained it, so let's get started. Um, first, we have our main.py. This is our fast API uh, file, our main file. Um, and uh, I'm sure you guys already know how to create this. So and it's very simple. Uh, you can go on the Fast API website and it'll show you how to create it. But yeah, that's what that, this is my API. Yours might look a little different, but this is what we created. And what I did specifically was I commented out this portion of the code. I had this just so I could run the Python file and then it would host the server for me. But uh, we're gonna host the server with a command, so we're not gonna include this file. So we, that's the reason we commented it out. We also have a, make sure you include your requirements.txt. There's uh, many ways to do this. Uh, I've used the uh, pip requirements or pip rex or something like that. Uh, it's, it's a quite simple way. But yeah, Google it or ask ChatGPT. It'll tell you how to generate one of these. It's pretty easy. Here's all my other Python files just for like some functions and stuff like that. Uh, database file and everything. Uh, next important thing is the render.yaml file. All I did was I went to the, um, uh, where is it? I went to the um, uh, FastAPI example on um, GitHub. And this is basically their file structure as well, similar to mine, even though I have some other extra stuff. But we have our render.yaml file, and this is the, all we have to do is copy and paste this, which I did already. Copy and paste it here, saved it. Now we wanna make sure we commit everything. So git commit, I think I've already done this. Yup, I've already done it. Uh, so once we commit that to our repository, make sure you have a repository up. Commit it and push it to your repository. And you can see right here, I can show you um, that we've already done that. See, I updated four minutes ago. We've done that literally four minutes ago when I was yapping when I wasn't recording my screen. But um, now I am recording my screen, so now you can see it. Here I have my whole uh, repository up here. So now we're going to go into render.com, make an account, and we're going to start up uh, and we're going to click create new web service here on the dashboard. So let's do that. We're going to build and deploy from GitLab, Git, uh, Git repository. Not GitLab, sorry. It's going to be this one, the API, Eloquent AI API. We're going to connect it. Uh, we're gonna wait a bit. <clears throat> okay, uh, this is our gonna be our name for it. We're gonna choose uh, Ohio US East because that's where I'm kind of closer to. Uh, main branch, yes, of course. Root directory, we don't really need this. Uh, runtime Python three, of course. Build command, yeah, we're gonna. It's already it's already here for us. Uh, for our start command, it's gonna be uh, basically this this line of code. This line of code right here, this is our start command. So we can just copy and paste this here. And uh, for hobby projects, we're gonna go free for now. Uh, and this will be perfect for us. So also if we want some envi environment variables, we could do that or we could also add it from a .env, which would be um, pretty helpful. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna do that now, just for this example, I'm just gonna create the web service, but that would be definitely useful in the future, so you do wanna consider that. All right, now it's um, preparing for deployment. Yup, cloning, yup, yup, yup. Come on, you know what to do, you know what to do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, uh, it's, now it's just downloading all the requirements. Um, I had quite a bit of stuff because um, it was a little bit complicated, this whole API. But it shouldn't take too long, honestly. It's only a couple things. Uh, let me see what exactly it is. It's um, all of these, fast API, obviously. Matplotlib. Don't even really know why that's there. I don't think I needed that anymore. NumPy, I think I use that. OpenAI Whisper, yes, I use that. Pandas, Pandas Stubs, PyTube, yep, all of this is used. So 
all of this is perfect so getting requirements to build wheel started what does that mean i don't know but um it's still preparing i guess so once it's done it should be on this uh, website right here it's still not yeah still not done yet but that's where our api is going to be hosted at at this link right here which is pretty cool i like that what's is my phone ringing uh yeah uh, i'm gonna get back to you guys once it's finished perfect all right so we finished uh it's it's deployed now and it's we got it running so let's check it out um basically we have it running at this place right here so to test if it's true if we go to this i mean if the url ends in this we should get the message welcome so let's test that on a public you know browser and we do get the same exact thing so if i want to test some of my functions for example i have the word in the, or the speakers table function since it's already here if i test that we have our speakers table from our data set supplied to us by our api which is amazing that's what we wanted uh let's see we can also have like the word index let's check that oh check uh let's use any word pvish for example there we go we have our word here so as you can see it does work um and it's running perfectly obviously there's a limit uh for this i think it's for the free version i think it's 512 um where is it uh 512 megabytes of ram yep and 0 0.1 cpu power whatever that is so if you want to take something a little bit serious uh, you might want to go with a different one but yep that is how you deploy web api uh, api uh, with render fast api with render